Greece holds a significant position in the global economy, not due to its size, which is relatively average, even within Europe, but because of its profound influence on the contemporary global economic landscape, a fact that may go unrecognized by the country itself. The maritime industry, predominantly led by Greece, plays a pivotal role in global trade, shaping the modern world. Moreover, Greece finds itself at the center of tensions involving the most powerful military alliance in history, showcasing its unexpected impact on geopolitical affairs. While Greece is renowned for its stunning islands and historical landmarks, it has also faced economic challenges, becoming a symbol of national mismanagement in the past two decades. In 2008, Greece was the epicenter of the Eurozone crisis and its poorly conceived plans reverberated across the nation, leading to a decade of economic stagnation in the second largest global economic entity. Although Greece is not solely accountable for Europe's economic struggles in the 2010s, it played a substantial role and bore the brunt of the ensuing slowdown. Before the 2008 crisis, Greece experienced remarkable economic growth, tripling its GDP per capita in just eight years. Capitalizing on the new Eurozone, the country attracted investment for its tourist destinations, natural resources, and shipping infrastructure, with expectations of sustained economic prosperity. However, the global financial crisis exposed the unsustainable nature of this growth, leading to a severe economic downturn with output halving and unemployment soaring. Now, after 15 challenging years, Greece appears to be on the path to recovery. Sustaining economic growth is a formidable test, especially for an economy that was once affluent. Nevertheless, a combination of support from peers, stable economic management, and fortuitous global shocks has created a positive outlook for Greece. If the country can achieve stable economic growth, it could serve as a valuable model for other economies grappling with prolonged economic difficulties. The story of Greece's economic boom and bust, its enduring stagnation, and the factors contributing to its turnaround invite examination and analysis. Greece's economy garnered significant attention due to its rapid growth in the early 2000s, setting it apart from many other struggling nations. Although numerous countries faced worse economic conditions by almost every metric, the unique tragedy and fascination surrounding Greece's economic story stemmed from its unexpected success for a time. Unfortunately, the growth of the Greek economy during that period was primarily centered on the right industries for the wrong reasons. Shipping has been a fundamental industry for Greece since ancient times, with the country boasting one of the world's largest merchant marine fleets, second, in fact, only to Japan. Nearly a quarter of global freight capacity is based in Greece, a lead established in the aftermath of World War II. Despite the country being devastated by occupation and facing a power vacuum post-war, Greece seized the opportunity to develop its shipping industry. The surplus vessels from the war, particularly the mass-produced Liberty ships, were purchased by Greek families who had relocated to the USA during the conflict. These families, armed with U.S. dollars, acquired these ships, positioning Greece perfectly to capitalize on the post-war global trade boom. However, challenges arose within the shipping industry. High marine taxes for Greek registered ships and demanding salaries for Greek sailors posed significant obstacles. Additionally, the Liberty ships, built with a quantity over quality mindset, were prone to structural issues. Despite these challenges, Greek shipping companies navigated a way forward. They phased out the Liberty ships in favor of custom-built cargo transports from UK shipyards desperate for post-war work, showcasing the adaptability of the Greek economy. The subsequent move involved abandoning the Greek flag registration and opting for ships to sail under the flag of a country with no taxes on maritime activities, known as flags of convenience. This practice allowed ships to register anywhere since they weren't tied to a specific location. Consequently, Greek shipping companies also replaced Greek crews with those willing to work for the lowest cost. Notably, these companies gained notoriety for their lack of concern about the nature or destination of the goods being shipped. Despite Greece's substantial presence in the global shipping fleet, much of the industry operates in name only. The majority of Greek-owned ships trade foreign goods under foreign flags with foreign crews managed from countries like the UK, Singapore, and Norway. Greece's EU membership is the primary tie keeping these ships associated with the country, although they contribute only about 1% to economic outputs. 
This pattern extends beyond shipping, reflecting a common theme in Greece's major industries, substantial growth with limited real value to the domestic economy. The economic boom in the early 2000s, primarily driven by construction, was paralleled by the adoption of the euro, fostering development in tourism and manufacturing. However, the benefits appeared impressive on paper, masking the reality that much of the progress did not directly benefit the country. The debt incurred was largely invested in infrastructure development, prioritizing short-term gains from real estate speculation, rather than supporting sustainable industries like manufacturing, services, or tourism. While foreign direct investment surged between 2000 and 2008, accounting for up to 2% of GDP annually, the funds were largely directed towards building homes along the coast. Although home construction significantly boosted economic output and employment, it did not create sustainable value. The global financial crisis devalued these homes, making it difficult for Greece to sustain borrowing, leading to the Eurozone crisis. The aftermath of the crisis saw a significant downturn with millions of workers in the building industry losing their jobs. Greece had to impose austerity measures to manage its debts, and the inability to devalue its currency hindered its economic recovery. The euro, initially a tool for development became a challenge due to mismanagement. Greece's adoption of the euro, facilitated by creative accounting to meet entry requirements, concealed the severity of its debt problem. The subsequent decade was marked by heightened unemployment, strained welfare systems, and social unrest. The government's decision to lower spending and crack down on tax evasion exacerbated these issues, impacting industries like tourism. Although raising taxes and reducing spending during tough economic times is generally unfavorable, it was deemed necessary for Greece to regain credit worthiness. The country had to encourage its people to transition into more sustainable, albeit lower-paying, industries. This shift has gradually occurred, resulting in lower but improving unemployment rates compared to the challenging period half a decade ago. The country's debt burden has been effectively managed thanks to a series of bailout measures from international organizations and some debt write-downs by private banks. Combined with more prudent government budgeting, Greece is now regarded as credit-worthy once again. Interestingly, the global pandemic, while adversely impacting the economy through the loss of tourist revenues and a general slowdown in trade and industry, has also proven to be a blessing in disguise for Greece. Despite the economic challenges, the country fared better than some other EU nations and the low interest rates implemented to address the broader economic slowdown have been advantageous for Greece in addressing its remaining issues. While it may take a considerable amount of time for Greece to reach the economic prosperity levels of 2007, the focus is on achieving slow and stable economic development. This measured approach is deemed essential for the country's sustained recovery, with the potential for long-lasting economic success compared to its past experiences. Greece presently boasts a GDP of 219 billion US dollars, ranking as the 54th largest economy globally, just trailing Kazakhstan. Despite predictions of significant growth in the coming years, the current evaluation considers the country's economic scale. With a population of 10.4 million, the GDP per capita sits at 20,732 US dollars annually, a notable decline from its peak in 2008. Although still double the global average, this places Greece at the edge of what is traditionally considered an advanced economy. Growth, unfortunately, has seen a downturn in Greece over the past decade. The industry, however, presents a unique perspective. While Greece leads globally in a crucial industry, the benefits don't seamlessly translate into domestic economic gains. With the additional strengths of tourism, high-end agriculture, and abundant natural resources, the industry aspect adds complexity to Greece's economic narrative. In a few words, Greece's economic profile underscores the nuanced nature of its challenges and its strengths. Well, that's it for today. Make sure that you like our video and please share your views in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel so you stay updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one. We'll see